book title His Bread the Cult author name M Eshwarya book company Blue Hills Publications chapter title Maloch Calling part 3 note the above manuscript is based on a chapter from the novel His Bread the Cult written by M Eshwarya going to be published by Blue Hills Publications copyright reserved by Blue Hills Publications Maloch Calling part 3 author name M Eshwarya Meg was in her room lying flat on the bed and reading her lessons she was reading less and spending time on scrolling the social media videos on her cell phone she was looking at the cell phone and watching video after video all of a sudden her expression began to change from casual to serious and then to panic no oh no said the girl she sat up on the bed and began to operate the cell phone even more seriously she covered her mouth with a hand out of shock and tears began to come out of her eyes her phone began to ring the girl responded parks are public places said a male voice make her the voice in silence parks are public places what are parks asked the male voice public places replied mehak in a trembling voice and what were you doing there asked the male voice look whoever you are i will complain and file a case against you want mehak trying to keep a brave face while tears were already coming out of her eyes let me tell you a thing we did not call you to the park you were found there and what were you doing there only you know well said the male voice in a menacing tone who are you what do you want asked mehak well now we are talking business i'm giving you a link with that we will have video call said the man and ended the call mehak looked at her cell phone a message had come to her She set her laptop and began a video call. The person on the other side of the video call had hidden his face. "Who are you?" asked Mehak. "What will you do by knowing? Consider me a well-wisher. We have some demand. Fulfill it and we will go away," said the unknown person. "You are bullying me and telling yourself to be my well wisher said mehak only you know and only i know about what happened in the park your family thinks you are studying hard but we know how you are spending your time there said the unknown figure my life my wish what is that got to do with you said mehak do not tell me those lines Now if you begin to behave in that way then you are finished and the reason you already know said the unknown figure Tell me what you want asked Mehak What do you think happens in this kind of scenario asked the unknown person I am not going to anything like that replied Mehak You are not in a position to give orders responded the unknown person Mehak stood up from her bed in anger and went to the clothes rack and took out some clothes she began to throw one end of a sari to the ceiling fan wait what are you doing asked the unknown person i will give up my life but not do anything like that said mehak in anger okay you are going to hang yourself said the unknown man in a calm voice after you hang yourself your family will try to investigate it will lead to a troubling secret that you are trying to hide they will feel devastated and live a sad life they will be cursing themselves 
for having a worthless child like you he added mehak who was busy tying the cloth on the wing of the ceiling fan and making a nose stopped and looked at the laptop thoughtfully the matter will not end there the news will spread the cops and the media never let such kind of things remain hidden even the neighbors will know your parents will be made fun of people will talk a lot about them behind them these are the things that will happen after you hang yourself now said the unknown figure over the video call mehak kept looking at the figure on the laptop screen now you're alive your parents think high of you no one has much idea of what has happened and we too are offering you a chance to keep the matter behind closed doors you're alive your family is happy and we too are happy said the unknown man mehak cell phone began to ring who is it asked the unknown man ma said mehak just think if you had hung yourself now then who would have responded said the unknown man yes ma mehak responded to the call after rubbing the tears from her eyes what happened mehak why do you sound as if you've cried right now said mehak's mother nothing like that ma i'm at an important meeting i will call you later said mehak in a hurried voice important meeting are you going out with your friends again asked her mother something like that said mehak ring me when you are back from outing said her mother I do not have all the time to listen to you both talk said the unknown person from the laptop Ma I will call you back said Meg and ended the talk over phone with her mother abruptly She looked at the laptop Look the matter remains between us said Meg Now you are talking business said the unknown figure in the video call from the laptop and chuckled Mehak took a deep breath and touched a button of the dress she was wearing. Far away, Nisha was lying on her bed. There was a noise on her cell phone. The girl checked the cell phone. There was a text message. Nisha opened the text message. The text message had the writing Another hunt completed. Get yet another. Nisha kept the cell phone aside on the bed. and looked at the ceiling thoughtfully about the author m eshwarya fondly called maverick eshwarya by his friends is a prolific writer he is currently working as a manuscript writer for movie making